Class 8 Max Chapter 1 Rational Numbers Today we are discuss about the exercise 1.1 Sixth question Find the rational number for the points marked on the number line The first subdivision The number line lies between minus 3 and minus 4 Minus 3 and minus 4 the number divided in three equal parts. One, two, three. Three equal parts. The number represent in second line. Represent in second line. Therefore, the number is minus three. Minus three. The number represent in second line. Then two divided by then divided in 3 equal parts. 1, 2, 3. Then divide also 3. Minus 3 into 2 by 3. Equal to the rational number is 3, 3 is 9. 9 plus 2, 11. Minus 11 by 3. The rational number is minus 11 by 3. The second question the number lies between 0 and minus 1. 0 and minus 1. The number divided in 5 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 equal parts. Number represent in second one. Second line. Therefore, the rational number is. Then whole number is 0. The number is. Second represent then 2 divided by 5 equal parts then 5. The rational number is 2 by 5. The next one, th the next one, third subdivision, the number lies between plus 1 and plus 2. The number divided in 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 equal parts. The number represent in third line. The, therefore, the rational number is 1 into the number represent in third line 3 divided by 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 4 equal parts. The number is 1. 1 into 3 by 4 equal to 1, 4 is 4. 4 plus 3 7. 7 by 4. Then third question answer is 7 by 4. The next one, the first subdivision answer, 3 into minus 2 by 3 equal to 3, 3 is 9, 9 plus 2, 11, minus 11 by 3. The next second subdivision answer, 2 by 5. The next third subdivision answer, 1 into 3 by 4, then 1 into 4, 1, 4 is 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 by 4. Average, write 3 rational numbers between 14 divided by 5 and 16 divided by 3. Solution, the average of A and B is 1 by 2 into A plus B. The next step, the average of then A value equal to 14 divided by 5 and B value equal to 16 divided by 3 is the first rational number C1 equal to 1 by 2 into A value 14 divided by 5 plus B value 16 divided by 3. Denominator value different. Now take LCM value. 5 into 3. 5 3 is a 15. Then LCM value equal to 15. Then first one. First one rational number. 14 divided by 5. 5 convert to LCM value. Then 5 multiply in 3 table. 5 3 is a 15. Then numerator also multiply in 3 table. 14 into 3 is equal to 42. 14 3 is 42. The next one rational number 16 divided by 3. Then denominator value 3. 3 convert in LCM value. LCM value equal to 15. Then 3 multiply in 5 table. 3 5 is 15. The numerator also multiply in 5 table. 16 into 5. 16 5 is 80. Then C1 is equal to 1 by 2 into 42 plus 80 divided by 15. Numerator value add. Then 
numerator equal to 122 divided by 30. The C1 is equal to 122 divided by 30. Then 122 divided by 30 cancel in 2 table. Cancel in 2 table. 6 twos are 12. 1 twos are 2. Then 15 twos are 30. Then first one rational number C1 equal to 61 divided by 15. 61 divided by 15. Therefore 14 divided by 5 less than 61 divided by 15 less than 16 divided by 3. Then first one. Therefore the first one equation. Then next one. The average of 14 divided by 5 and 16 divided by 15 is second rational number C2 equal to 1 by 2 into A value 14 divided by 5 plus B value 16 already find the C1 value then 61 divided by 15 denominator value different now take LCM value 5 comma 15 divide the 5 table 1 5 is a 5, 3 5 is a 15, then LCM equal to 5 into 3, 5 3 is a 15, then LCM value equal to 15, the first one rational number 14 divided by 5, 5 convert in LCM value, 5 3 is a 15, numerator also multiply in 3 table, 14 3 is a 42, the next Next rational number 61 divided by 15 denominator also equal to LCM value then no changes 61 divided by 15 the numerator value 42 plus 61 add 103 then C2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 103 divided by 15 the next step 1 into 103 is equal to 103 divided by 2 into 15. 2 15 is 30. Then second rational number 103 divided by 30. Therefore 14 divided by 5 less than 103 divided by 30 less than 61 divided by 15. The second equation. The next find the third rational number. Then A value equal to 103 divided by 30, B value equal to 61 divided by 15. The average of 103 divided by 30 and 61 divided by 15 is third rational number C3 is equal to 1 by 2 into 103 divided by 30 plus 61 divided by 15. Denominator value different. Now take LCM value 30 comma 15 divide the 15 table 1 15 is 15, 2 15 is 30, then LCM value equal to 15 into 2, 15 2 is 30, then LCM value equal to 30, first one rational number 103 divided by 30, no changes, denominator value 30, LCM value also 30, no changes, then next one, second one rational number 61 divided by 15, 15 convert to LCM value, therefore multiplying two table, 15 into 2 next numerator also multiply in 2 table 61 into 2 15 twos are 30 61 into 2 122 c3 equal to 1 by 2 into 103 plus 122 divided by 30 the next step c3 is equal to 1 by 2 into 103 plus 122 then add means 225 divided by 30 the next step 225 Divided by 30, cancel then, cancel in 5 table, 4 5s are 20, 5 5s are 25, 30 also cancel, cancel in 5 table, 6 5s are 30. Next cancel the 3 table, 2 3s are 6, then numerator also cancel in 3 table, 1 3s are 3, 5 3s are 15, 15 uh, divided by 2. The next step is C3 is equal to 1 into 15, 15, 2 2s are 4. Then third rational number C3 is equal to 15 by 4. Therefore, 103 divided by 30 less than 15 divided by 4 
less than 61 divided by 15. Then third equation. From 1, comma 2, comma and 3 we get 14 divided by 5 less than 103 divided by 30 less than 15 divided by 4 less than 61 divided by 15 less than 16 divided by 3. The given rational number 14 divided by 5 and 16 divided by 3 then between 3 rational number 103 divided by 30 15 divided by 4 61 divided by 15. Today recap, the sixth question, find the rational numbers for the points marked on the number line. The next seventh question, using average, write three rational numbers between 14 divided comma 5 and 16 divided by 3. Today homework. Exercise 1.1, seventh question, using average, write three rational numbers between 14 divided by 5 and 16 divided by 3. Write home test. Thank you dears.